Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. Now it's been about a week since I did uh, any recording for this. I shouldn't affect you though because I've had plenty of episodes loaded up beforehand. Uh, so let's remind ourselves what we are doing. So Shrike Abyssal, I can't do yet. Citadel, Pillars of Strength. I don't think I can actually do that one yet, can I? So let's do the priority Palavan. This is all 100% done. Did we complete this? Yeah, okay. Great, this cradle is 100% uh, in, so I'm happy with that. So let's head to Palavan then. And push the story forward. Rescue the Turian Primarch. this out the way. Well, I don't think there's anything to be really doing here, so let's just land. Still can't take Javik? No matter what. We'll stick with Liara and James then. Uh, confirm, that would do. God damn, that's a lot of ships. Look at all them Reapers. Oh, you're fucked. God damn, this game looks good. Decimated. Yeah, thanks, James. The military in the galaxy, and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. All right, let's help them out. Come on, you little undead bastards, bring it on. Uh, cooldown's still a bit slow. Anyone else? Let's have a quick scout around for collectibles. Mm. 
Whoops. Alright, don't go and get up there, that's fine. Anything hiding up here? No. Soldier, which way to your commanding officer? Straight ahead and around the corner, past the first barricade. Cheers. Anything hiding around here? Nope. Ah, I know there's something over here. That creeper is enormous. Saw bigger ones on Earth. A whole lot of them. Goddess. No, I'm sure there was something here before. Unless I am misremembering that and thinking of somewhere else. Let's have a scout. Try them again. The reinforcements haven't arrived. Uh, Graham report. Knowledge of the terrain is our only advantage here, and that's not going to uh, last forever. If they keep throwing their forces at it, throwing their forces at us. We'll hold this area as long as we can. I'm linking my transponder to the live signal monitoring system of the unit suits. If it goes out, send another unit here ASAP. Anything else around here? Your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Bardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General? Commander Shepard. Heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedori. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's going to complicate things. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound <laughs> strategy, just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, Contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. All right, we have a mission. I see the comm tower. On top of a, another mission. Barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go. Yeah, hang on. There are things I want to collect. Yes, thank you. Right. Anything over here? No. Do you have anything here? No. Up and on your left, to the main barricade. All right, thanks. 
Ah, here we go, more goodies. Uh, Commander Hexner supplies. They sent us winter gear. Not sure what they thought we'd do with that kind of gear here, but I suppose we should thank the spirits nonetheless. The power sources can be cannibalized and converted to power, power out our combat's gear filtering units instead. It'd be nice not to have those clogging up anymore. And one final collectible. Or oh, two final collectibles. Cheers! Alright, we're on it. Oh, hello. Probably should have sent Liara. Here they come. Ready, Liara? You bet. Let's take these monsters. Come on. Good job, James. That was actually about the same time Liara takes, so it wasn't too bad. Come on. Oh, where did you not come from? See how these boys are doing. Oh, did they pull out? Yeah, looks like they pulled out. Oops. Right, what you got for us? What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone. I don't care who. As long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus! Garrus. Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. 
Lieutenant. Good to see you too, Leon. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What do you mean? On Tatris, during the uprisings. His squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the rebels took. Then the rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot. And I trust him. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! <laughs> General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. Yeah! There we go, Garrus! Hey, is that you breathing so hard? Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. Adrenaline's better than oxygen any day. Oh, here we go. Right. They do. Tyrion uh, husks. Someone shoots me over there. No. Come on. There we go. I think we're done here. All right. Let me just do a scout. But right, that's all full. Whatever that is, I'll take it. Anything over here? No. Alright. Shepard, come in. Go ahead. Still trying to raise the Primark, but we've got trouble back here at the main barricade. If the Reapers breach it, we're done. On my way. Alright. Let's go play with the big guns. Oh shit, he didn't make it.
Come on. Oh god, I'm doing really badly. Oh, here we go. I think it's a... It's uh, a cross between a Krogan and a Turian, if I remember rightly. Yes. Shepherd endurance is here. What's the word on the Primarch? Still can't get a stable comm link. Okay, I'm going on foot. Shepherd out. Garrus, take me to the last place you saw Victus. God damn. Reefs are huge. How far? Should be pretty quick unless we find trouble. Took out a frigate. Man, how many people? Oh my god. Would you look at that? Damn it. Look at Palavin. That blaze of orange. The big one. That's where I was. That's rough. You still have family there? My dad. A sister. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day. Five the second. How's your military holding up? Look around. That should give you some idea. You're putting up a good fight. For now. But how long does it take before the fight's kicked out? If they'd only listen to your warnings, not the Reapers. We might have been ready. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. Oh, okay, it's just credits. I thought it might be something I have to read. chance we've got. None of us beating the Reapers alone. Very true. So, you okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. Have you seen General Victus? Half hour ago. Ten cell. Okay, good luck. Yes, sir. God damn. Fuck. That was a little closer than I'd like. I'll say. No survivors. Damn it. A crash like that is not surprising. Hmm. 
Those damn things. So loco. You really think this summit will work? I mean, Asari? Salarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the Genophage. Right. Turians sterilized them. Salarians came up with it. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. They are indeed. Yeah, I'll take the XP. Pretty sure we could get high, uh, ambushed at least once more along this route. If I remember rightly. That sounds bad. Okay, double time. Oh, yeah. taking this Primark from me. Maybe not. Clear the camp. Ah, the Batarian husks. Let me see my frag grenade. Alright, that's him down. Yep, yeah, thought there was something around here. Oh good, there's two of you. Dead? No. What was that? Who's shooting at me? That was a bit, probably a waste of that, but still fun to use. Hey, we did it. General Victus. <laughs> yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. A commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my mail. Of 
appreciated. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit to represent your people in the fight against the Reavers. I'm Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian hierarchy. Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by-the-book kind of guy, and I piss people off. My family's been military since the Unification War. War is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is deceptive. <laughs> it make you seem reckless when you're anything but. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah, I don't know, Garrus. But I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. <laughs> Damn right. Trying to broker a peace between the Krogan and the Turians? That sounds like a tall order. The Asari have been down this road before, Commander Shepard. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This must be my final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. Goodbye. Short-sighted idiot. Hey, hack it. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? Have you pieced together how the Reapers hit Earth? It wasn't all that complicated, really. They surged through the relays and hit Archura station before we knew what was happening. From there, it was a short jump to the Sol system. Earth didn't stand a chance. Sending us to the Mars archives was a good call. Still doesn't make up for the fact that the Reapers nailed us to the wall. I sacrificed the entire second fleet to provide cover for the third and the fifth to retreat. Hell, I've presided over the most devastating military defeat in human history. It. How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By making you the tip of the spear. I'm flattered, 
but the Normandy's just one ship. And a fast one. You can move quickly, hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. It's an advantage, but can it win a war? It's the larger principle that matters. We'll never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. The battle against Sovereign three years ago took everything we had, and that was just one Reaper. I haven't forgotten. So I'll find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier's ship and bullet we've got. How long can we keep that up? As long as it takes. The reality is, Shepard, everything I'm doing is a delaying action for you. I'm buying us time, keeping us in the game, while you gather what we need for this Prothean device. So keep at it. Has your analysis of the Prothean device turned up anything? The R appears to be right. It's a weapon of some sort. A big one. Beyond that, we really can't say, other than it's gonna be a hell of a thing to try and build. Do you think it's risky? Building something like this when we don't even know what it does? To be honest, the thing scares the hell out of me. But the Reapers have forced our hand. Two centuries ago, scientists faced the same problem in the Second World War. They weren't sure what the atomic bomb might do. Some thought it could even ignite Earth's atmosphere, but they did it anyway. Any updates on Cerberus? There's still the wild card here. Hitting the archives on Mars suggests they're after the same thing we are. A way to defeat the Reapers. It didn't seem as if the elusive man was suggesting we appease them. Not like Saren did. You'd think we'd be on the same side, now more than ever. Cerberus has never played by the rules as we know them. I don't know what their agenda is, but it has nothing to do with humanity's best interests. The elusive man talked about controlling the Reapers. He seemed to think that's how we win this. He's wrong. Dead Reapers are how we win this. <laughs> Doesn't mean he won't try. I saw your report on that Cerberus soldier you found on Mars. If the elusive man is good at one thing, it's finding new ways to subvert science. It's never worked for him before, and it won't now. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Alright. How is our war assets? Ooh, still not great. Hey, Victus. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship. And for going along with this plan. Garrus said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. Sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right. But there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood. If we don't try. When you put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. How are things on Palavan? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavan. And mine with Earth. Ah, uh, see, we could all get along, and all it took was an extinction event. <laughs> Commander? Oh, yeah. What 
do you mean, offline? I don't know. She's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. Commander, comms systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. All right. I'm on it. Leave this way. Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. I'm going in. Edie, talk to me. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me. But I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever test you can. Then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that, we can agree. Hey, we now have mobile ED. Was that ED who just walked by? <laughs> yes, it was. And Joker is going to have a field day with this. <laughs> All right. Now we're down here. Seeing the same numbers myself, they don't look good. We have to turn this around and fast. Well, you can trust Shepard, sir. If anybody can get the Krogan to cooperate, it's him. He's an old friend of Erdnot Rex. Let's just hope friendship still counts for something in this war. I'm sure it will, sir. Hey, Garrus. Garrus. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. After what I've been through lately, Calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Sovereign didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow, I'm still alive. And he's not. 
Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or were pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. And <laughs> not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember. A certain Turian friend of yours isn't sleeping any better, and he'd be more than happy to meet you at the bar and drink you under the table. Something else you want to talk about? You mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long has it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. What about you? Any word from your family? My mother's in the Alliance. Haven't heard from her since Earth got hit. I'm sure sh she's... okay. <laughs> oh, Garrus, you're not very good at this, are you? I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war, that's not going to happen. That's true. So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After what happened to you out there in Batarian space, I knew time was running out. For all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. But he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. I'm not sure even I'd believe it. I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy, meeting Vigil, talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. What did you do with it? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. And if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. I noticed generals saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of succession are you these days? Let's not go there. <laughs> Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. <laughs> That's all for now, Garrus.
damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Alright, let's check in on Liara. Let's see if we've got any more resources we can use. You're positive you don't want to come over and talk. No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus? I'll be fine, Liara. Just gathering some thoughts. All right. All right. Uh, writing notes. Not sure what to make of Javik. I approached him while we were travelling to a different system, but he wasn't very inclined to talk. What little he does say concerns the Reapers and our possible failure. Is he simply a soldier mourning his people, or is it a fundamental difference in our cultures? Who knows? Remains of a Reaper destroyer. Store discount power. Ooh. I like a store discount. Something on your mind? Just old memories. I spent a few weeks on Palavin's South Peaks when I was very, very young. A Turian there teased me a little, saying that the mountains went on forever. I remember believing him. When I looked up at Palavin from its moon, I saw those same mountains burning. Feel free to look around. All right. Nothing more to say. Let's check it on Javik. Uh, Javik. No, oh, this is the wrong one. Oh no, he's downstairs, isn't he? Yeah, with the reporter. All right. into this cycle yes we called them collectors they fought for the reapers for a long time no one knew they were Prothean. and when did you realize shepherd had no choice but to kill the ones he encountered they were all indoctrinated and had been for a long time i'm sorry i am grateful it was an act of mercy yes i suppose it was uh, if i remember rightly you have to be careful with jaffic because you've I think if you talk to him too much, uh, he might end up dying. I can't remember what it is, though. I am feeling better, Commander. I stand ready to fight. Do not be concerned about me. The years in stasis have only made me hungrier to fight the Reapers. Perhaps later, Commander. All right. I might have to actually look up what it is so I don't make that mistake. Cause I like Javik. You can be a bit of an ass, but you can also understand why. Taylor stopped flirting with the reporter. Who the was that? She has got some curves. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Ellers. Let me know when we do. All right. Nothing more here. Go check in on Steve. Remember rightly, if you don't talk to him enough, he dies. Uh, where even is he? Oh, he's over there. Glad we made it up in one piece. It's been a while since I've seen a dog fight like that. Really missed my trident. ACM isn't really the Kodiak strong suit. The munitions you carry into the field deserve at least a triple check. Shuttle's primed for the next drop. Shuttle's primed for the next drop. All right, he's all done. Uh, procurement. Job capacity. Non, uh, increased injuries among non-human patients 
which rule has led to a need for improved managerial formula. This would reduce uh, fatalities. Yeah, we'll get that then. N7 Defender. Armor capacity up by 20%, weapon damage plus 10%, shields 10. Yes, I will buy that. And we'll get that as well. Hey, Pooch. All right, James, how you doing? That Primarch's got some real cojones. What we need are more politicians like him, taking names and kicking ass. Hey. All right, he's all done. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Commander, are you all right? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I do not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension Project is the best training facility in the galaxy for human biotics. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call, so normally I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy is being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Good catch. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer, good catch. Thank you, Commander. Right, that's a that's a time sensitive one, so we need to get on that as soon as. Ooh, meet me in Purgatory from Arya to Loke. I have a proposition for you, Shepard. You won't want to pass it up. I'm at a nightclub on the Citadel called Pur uh, Purgatory. Don't make me wait too long. Uh, send a block, Commander. My name is John Dunbau, and with special tactics and recon. While some of while some still have concerns about your past activities with Cerberus, many of us at STR took your warnings about the Reaper seriously. I'm reaching out to you because I have information that could tie agents with significant political power to the Reapers. If you have time to meet me at the Citadel Embassy, I'd appreciate your discreet assistance. Absolutely. Hey, Nalenko. Hey, Shepard. Uh, through some combination of a medical miracle and dumb luck, I survived the beating I took on Mars. The doctors say I'm still not ready to be released, but I'd really like to see, see you if you can spare the time. Councillor Udina offered to make me a spectre. I'm still thinking about whether or not I should accept. Stop by my room at the hospital when you're in the Citadel. I'd like your advice. And Caden. Cool. Uh, Stephen Hacker Shepherd. Shepherd. Never had the chance to get you some new N7 equipment back on Earth. I've arranged for the N7 defend, uh, Defender armor to be delivered to, uh, to the Normandy before supply lines get less reliable than they are now. Look for the armor next time you're suiting up for a mission. It's more than just a little extra plating. Shepard, I've called and sent messages but got no response. With Earth's comms system out, I don't think this will get through either. But I had heard rumor, heard a rumour the Normandy docked here at the Citadel. Are you still alive? I'm at Huerta Memorial Hospital under the name Tanor Nurara. Please excuse the moniker and this email's encryption. In my line of work, it's unwise to advertise my location particularly when I am not in good health. 
We should meet again before circumstances force us apart again, Thane. Commander, there's an Alliance researcher working on the Citadel named Dr. Garrett by, uh, Bryson. I need you to meet with him right away. Dr. Bryson has uncovered an important new information about the Reapers that could have direct bearing on the war. I'm officially directing you to support his efforts at the first possible opportunity. Please visit Bryson's laboratory at the Citadel at once. Uh, I would like subject come see me. Shepard, I have something important to discuss with you. It's sensitive, so we'll need privacy. I'll arrange for that soon. In the meantime, come see me on the Citadel in the aptly named Purgatory. I have a few ideas for your war. Not really my war. It's everyone's war. Because if we don't win, we're screwed. Hey, Joker. How's your new co-pilot? Hey, Commander. Check out my co-pilot. So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? Come on, Commander. Don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that. I would have baked a cake. <laughs> I am right here, Jeff. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. <laughs> hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. There's a whole lot of crap out there. Needs a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we might need something calibrated. <laughs> Commander. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears... adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. I'll be over here, flying the ship. <laughs> What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer. Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. Ah, sometimes being Shepard feels like being a glorified uh, couples therapist. <laughs> Right, let's head back to the Citadel for now. Well, actually, we've still got the rest of this area to explore. Right, okay, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.